Hello my fellow Americans, it's Casey Wells here, your independent write-in presidential candidate in 2020. And I just completed my coast-to-coast -coast tour, getting all the signatures I needed in each state to be a qualified write-in candidate in the 2020 election. And I'm here in Hartford, Connecticut at the state capitol. And tomorrow I'll be turning in my signatures in Connecticut. This is the last state I have to turn my signatures in. And all of my paperwork hopefully will be complete if everything checks out. And so now that I've completed my paperwork, I think it's important to take some time to start talking about some important issues facing America right now. And one of the biggest issues in this country this year has been, well, it's been ongoing for, you know, 50, 60, you could say the entire span of our in history is uh, the oppression and abuse and segregation and racial profiling of black Americans and the Black Lives Matter movement more specifically is what it's come to be known today and since 2015. But here in Hartford, Connecticut, they have painted Black Lives Matter by a series of artists on the street here and I want to take you around it while we talk a little bit about Black Lives Matter. And so for anybody, in my opinion, whose response to Black Lives Matter is all lives matter uh, I think that response is one that is very dismissive it dismisses the years of slavery which led to segregation which led to racial profiling and over incarceration of black Americans and it could be said by well I've heard it said by many people that all lives matter can't be possible until black lives matter and I would agree with that. We need to respect and protect those that have been abused more than any other in this country before we can begin to get closer to a level of equality in this country. And black lives and Native American lives have been treated the worst in this country's history. And so, man, it is heartbreaking to see the division right now with all of this, though it's justified in many ways in my opinion because something's got to give you know peacefully protesting hasn't worked for the history of this country and now you know looting and, and other things are happening in response to it but there's this great division between the Black Lives Matter movement and the cops from what I've seen I was out in Portland I witnessed a lot of protesting out there that was pretty violent and upsetting to see but really, I think cops need to be held accountable, in my opinion. Cops cannot get away with murder. Any cop that kills an unarmed civilian uh, needs to be put on trial for murder, in my opinion. And I think if we had a system of governance where we, the people, had the opportunity to give our vote on public policy, I think most Americans would vote to have cops held accountable, too. And if cops were held accountable, maybe, you know, all this civil unrest wouldn't be happening. I posted a chart on Facebook a few days ago that showed that oh, black Americans and, and um, Hispanic Americans, or actually Hispanic Americans aren't as much as Native Americans, are the most likely to be killed when unarmed by a police officer. Over 30 states, black Americans were more likely to be killed by a police officer than a white American. There are only, it's like 10 times more anyway. There's only three states where white Americans were more likely to be killed unarmed by a police officer. This E here in this Black Lives Matter mural affected me the most. It has a list of all the people that have been killed by cops and it, black Americans that have been killed by cops and it's absolutely heartbreaking. And uh, this kind of, oh God, abuse has to stop. We gotta learn to love each other and see each other as equals. You know, we're all 99.9% .9 identical genetically. And so until we come together, work together, have all our voices heard in the political process and respect one another and treat each other as equals, God, because God created all of us equal, will we ever have peace in this world so 
no justice, no peace. I stand behind you. I support Black Lives Matter. I just hope that we can come together and find a peaceful re resolution to all the civil unrest that we're experiencing right now. So anyway, that's my point of view on Black Lives Matter. Peace and love to you all. Thank you for watching. God bless and take care. And if you like what I'm about, write in Casey Wells in 2020. Tell a friend to tell a friend to check me out. God bless. Take care.